Early Thursday, President Obama made it official with this tweet. Next month, I'll travel to Cuba to advance our progress and efforts that can improve the lives of the Cuban people. Along for the historic visit, First Lady Michelle Obama. Mr. Obama says he's looking forward to the trip. It'll be fun when we go. It will be the first time since Calvin Coolidge in 1928, a sitting U.S. president, has visited Cuba. The trip comes after Mr. Obama's historic opening, the deal agreed to in secret talks brokered by the Vatican, and after a handshake with Cuban President Raul Castro at an international summit in Panama, all leading to these moments last summer when flags were raised at reopened embassies in Washington and Havana, bringing normal diplomatic relations for the first time in 54 years. A top Obama aide says the trip is part of the overall effort to force the Castro regime to loosen its grip. We will be in a better position uh, to support human rights and to support a better life for the Cuban people by engaging them and raising these issues directly. Mr. Obama plans to meet with President Raul Castro, but the White House says there are no plans to meet with Brother Fidel, citing a lack of time. Most Republicans opposed normalization and, since the news broke last night, have attacked the president over his planned visit. I think it's a real mistake. I think the president ought to instead be pushing for a free Cuba. It's 90 miles off the coast of America. And to go there and essentially act as an apologist. The Cuban government remains as repressive as ever, but now they have access to millions, if not billions, of dollars in resources that they didn't have access to before this opening. Opponents like Senator Rubio say the number of dissident arrests in Cuba has gone up, not down, since relations have warmed. And while the White House concedes the Castro regime has not moved swiftly enough with reforms, they argue that the other way had 54 years to work and it failed to change anything. We believe that greater connectivity to the United States and the international community, diplomatically, economically, you know, ultimately, uh, is going to be to the benefit of, of the Cuban people. Mike Vicara, Al Jazeera, Washington.